you do miss the horse riding, though. And it's kind of being brought back with carriages and syndicate, but... Oh, I'm just a leopardy! Hey! Oh, oh, like the queen? <laughs> or beauty queen, I guess, is more like. keep getting better. Thanks to you. Mother! Claudia. Why did she call me mother? Excuse me! It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forli is here to welcome you. Catarina I had no idea Sforza. you were so famous. <laughs> well, <laughs> well. Here? Yeah. Is it finished then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Whee! Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. You can't go much Steal more high pitched than that. They will have many questions. Let's see, the high second cup. The Contessa, I look forward to seeing her this evening. I bet you do. <laughs> he wasn't joking about the whole my next conquest thing. Claudia, I believe I've read about you, but maybe there's some new stuff about you in here. Uh, lived a privileged childhood in Florence, high society. After the murder of Giovanni and her two brothers, all that, all of that changed. Claudia, Ezio, Maria fled to Monte Digione in the safety of their uncle Mario's villa. Yes, yeah, so we read about her before the execution. Now this is after. Claudia remained in the villa, caring for her nearly comatose mother, while Ezio set off to avenge the murders. A record book recovered from by archaeologists, that doesn't seem like a sensible sentence, reveals a relatively unexciting existence. Between months spent managing the villa's finances, brief periods of activity were supplied by Ezio's visits, and the renovations she was able to carry out with the money brought back from his travels. Under her care, the town blossomed, ushering in a new era of prosperity for Monteregione. Claudia, however, remained cut off from the world she loved. To hear of Ezio's adventures only reminds me of my own lack thereof. This is not the life I dreamed of as a child. Ezio does not understand. He treats me so delicately. I despair of ever emerging from this prison. She writes in one particular poignant letter. Poignant letter? Dated July 1495. Hmm. Alright. Next objective. I guess, yeah, I'm upgrading my stuff. All of memories when we had to do this last time. Oh wait, what am I doing? Oh wait, no, never mind. I'm not upgrading shit. I'm wandering around helping people because I'm Ugh. a good person. Hi, madam. How do you fare? You weakling. Need some help. Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Back there, we're still right oh. here, woman. I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Mm -hmm. Am I invited? To Claudia Auditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Auditori himself would be impressed. Oh? What do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. Mm. From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. I have been. Oh no. You? Yep. The party was intended to be a surprise. <laughs> Promise you will not tell Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure oh, I can think of so several smooth. things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Keith Stone, you're so smooth. Always. Some hillbilly looking dude with a mustache. Yeah. <sighs> More flowers. Now about earning my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. What makes you think I'm gonna wait? <laughs> <sighs> oh, man. Ezio, Ezio, Ezio. Oh, my. <clears throat> Alright. Forget what the... Oh, no, 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 wait. I remember what the third one is. So, you know what? I'll go ahead and do it right now, since I'm here on the ground. I don't have to climb my way back down. Fuck off! I'm Ezio Auditori. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Hello! Buongiorno. Ezio, Mario is going to murder me. I have lost his favorite horse. Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. After our work with the uh, 
Assassin Brotherhood is done. This is the thing he's got to worry about the most. Hey! Hey! Stop! No! Go back! I used to be able to do this really quickly, but I don't remember it exactly anymore. No, 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 please don't go away. No, 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 fuck. Okay. So I guess I'll just uh, wait here. Unless, okay. He doesn't just run back and forth, he actually stops. Hey, there we go, got him. All right, that wasn't so bad. Got it. What's this horse's name, Luigi? <laughs> I can no longer keep up with the horses. Or I guess Daisy will make enjoy sense. Your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your you know. Uncle Mario. You know, because uh, he rides the horse. And, that is good you know, news. The, yeah. Arrivederci, Ezio. No? Okay. All right. <clears throat> anyway, I didn't say nothing. Pay attention to, pay attention to the cutscene? Good. Good. Ignore my distractions. Okay. Off we go. To the last thing. Let's go ahead and take a little shortcut, shall we? And, okay, another shortcut. Boom. Hello, gentlemen. What's up with you? So, these are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. You guys, you guys are worse at Jinx than I am. I say one thing, and then I'm like, nope, Jinx it, not gonna say it again. And they're just like, oh, perhaps our work is finished. Oh, that wouldn't be so bad. I have all the time in the world now. My battles have already been won. Why don't you just shut up? <sighs> all right, now I know he's over here. Hello. Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. No one else will touch my cannons. You married? Soldiers have no so, then that poor woman. <laughs> they expect a gun to work like magic. No one will you touch his to cannons. Her out. Give her a little encouragement. Or the cannon we balls. We <laughs> with simple cannons now. Too many Our dirty jokes, I'm sorry. A design from France, yeah? A hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murderer. Imagine firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that is the future. Yes, it is. You literally have no idea. A hand cannon. 42, no, 44 Magnum. I always think it's 42, because I'm an idiot. 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world. You could ask yourself a question. Do you feel lucky? Well, do what you, What have you done? Punk? We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. Har har. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. Okay, I'm firing the cannons. B to use the cannon. Aim at something to test me alive. Yes, sir, I'll go ahead and aim far in that one. What a five. Go ahead and just get this one. Reminds me of the Battle of Monmouth from AC3. Except minus the epic music. Where is Charles Lee? Wait, where the fuck? Okay, there it is. There it is. I got it. I got it. And because I can't do a cannon session without doing one of these, HABANG! <laughs> Thank you, or, um, <clears throat> grazie. Now, for the other one. Oh, now I have to go into the other one? I must go. Oh, okay. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. <laughs> okay. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. All right. 
It's time to go home. Well, home home. Meaning over there. Ugh. I used to love this villa, and now every time I look at it- This whole city! I just- ugh. I spent over a month building this in Minecraft. Not even exaggerating a little bit. And now, I mean, every once in a while I'll load up that world and just kind of walk around in it, and I'm just like, why did I do this? Like, I made a video tour of it on my YouTube channel. I'll probably put a link around here somewhere or have a card pop up, something like that. Um, so you guys can watch it if you want to, but, like, I literally, there was, the reason for me doing that was not worth it. Like, I just kind of felt like doing it. And now I just look at it and I'm just like, why? <laughs> why? What a waste of a month of life. <laughs> Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno, Caterina. Caterina. To what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? It looks like Hope I Jensen's dress. An allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Corley. From Rogue. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. We got some other business to take care of. In the codex room. <laughs> Machiavelli. You and I share the same birthday! So exciting! No, not, I just did this. I think, <laughs> as any of us expected. I entered the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There. A moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. What are we, Hogwarts? He told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future, but gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she's looking right at the camera too. She vanished. That is so awesome. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vault did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good. <laughs> what, Jesus? I mean, God? This goddess, this Minerva, did she appear human? Jesus yes, is the son of God. but her words gotcha. proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. This Who is, is so Desmond? Where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise power in return? No. None of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remains so composed. I let him live. The Spaniard lives? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Ha! Machiavelli will come around. Well, technically, it didn't really make much difference. I guess it could have. I mean, I won't explain why, because spoilers, this is an old game, but whatever. Niccolo Machiavelli! May 3rd, 1469. Unarmed prophets have always been destroyed, whereas armed prophets have succeeded. Hmm. These cynical words were written by Niccolo Machiavelli, one of the greatest minds of the Renaissance. Considered a pioneer of realist philosophy, he believed that all men are evil and will act upon their vicious nature if given the chance. Nowadays kind of have to agree with him. The third son of a Florentine attorney, Machiavelli was tutored by his father in grammar, rhetoric, and Latin. In 1494, he entered government service as a clerk and an ambassador. He made a member of the Florentine... made a member, excuse me, of the Florentine Diplomatic Council. He was sent to the courts of France, Spain, and Rome between 1499 and 1512. He's heading off to Rome right now. It was during this time that he met Cesare. Immediately taken with the young Captain General, Machiavelli wrote, I can find no fault with him. Really? Really? Machiavelli followed Cesare, learning his approach to war until 1500, which is this year, when he became de facto leader of the assassins. From 1500 to 1503, he settled in Rome, although little is known of his activities there. Well, that's about to change, isn't it? In 1503, Machiavelli was put in charge of, of the Florentine militia, bleh, and the city's defense. 
He recruited citizens for his militia, preferring men who had a stake in Florence's continued success to dispassionate mercenaries. His strategy seemed to work in 1509 when Florence defeated Pisa. Hmm. Machiavelli continued to part participate excuse me, in Florentine government after the Medici family was chased out. But when the Medici returned, they arrested and tortured him. Oh, he was accused of conspiring against them. Unable to find any wrongdoing, the Medici exiled Machiavelli. Oh! He retired to his estate in Santa Andrea, where he wrote his famous works, The Prince, The Discourses on Livy, and The Florentine Histories. Machiavelli died in 1527. His place of burial remains unknown? Really? We don't know where he was buried? <gasps> That's interesting. We're both attractive. <laughs> <laughs> 